Hi, my name is Rich Harrington for Adorama TV, and I've headed out to the western deserts to the mountains to get some fun time shooting with some new cameras. Now, I've headed out with some Nikon cameras, and I want to tell you today about the Nikon D610. Let me let you know that I'm a Nikon D600 shooter, so this was a natural fit for me to like this camera. It really builds upon what's good about the D600 and fixes some of the things that people weren't happy about. This is one of those cameras that's just the sweet spot of giving you the most bang for your buck. It gives you a full frame sensor and a ton of other features at a really reasonable price. First off, the camera's seen a bit of improvement. We've had a dynamic range increase of two stops with the camera, which is nice. I do a lot of high dynamic range photography. I was also doing some shooting out here at night, long exposure type stuff, and the increased dynamic range definitely helped with this camera. It really worked well. The sensor inside the camera, that's a really great value to be getting that type of processor, the XP3, in this camera body. Now, you end up with a full frame, 100% coverage when you're looking through the viewfinder. It's nice to be able to see all the way through there and know that you're getting absolutely everything in the viewfinder. And it's a 24 megapixel image. For me, the 24 megapixels is a good balance of size and quality. I took this camera time-lapse shooting. I was able to shoot the entire night to a 128 gigabyte card, get all the frames I wanted on that card, great high quality images, plenty of things to work with. I've done some panoramics and HDR. It's really held up well with the camera. Very happy with the size and it works well for me. A nice clean file, not a lot of noise. The camera body itself is also really rugged, weather sealed, which is great. I've been out here in some wet conditions. We've had cold, lots of things. Camera body held up really well. In fact, I took it out shooting last night. It was well below freezing. Camera had no problem, just kept shooting along. Of course, in that much cold, the battery life was a little bit shorter, but I was surprised at how long the battery and the camera lasted. And with two memory card slots, it's great. You could easily drop in two SD cards. It's super simple to have a backup card to shoot to. You could have that card have an automatic backup or do things like route video to one card, stills to another and set the shooting order so it really lets you take control of how the cards are being used. The Nikon D610 has a couple of things directly to react to some of the things people said about the 600. First off, the shutter block has been redesigned a bit. There were a few complaints with some of the shutter speed things tied to flash and a few other concerns. Nikon says that it's addressed those, so you'll want to go ahead and dig into some of the reviews over at Adorama.com to see if people feel happy. The camera itself, very fast, six frames per second as well as three frames per second when shooting in quiet mode. In fact, you've got all those dials right there, continuous high, continuous low, quiet continuous as well as a built-in timer, including a built-in intervalometer if you need to shoot time-lapse, which I really like. The camera has a new white balancing system which holds up really well. It's also fantastic for video. A lot of folks are really happy with the Nikon and the video features. Many feel that they've caught up or even surpassed Canon's capabilities. 422 uncompressed video options to be able to pass out through the HDMI port, which is great if you want to go to an external recorder. Great color fidelity. Both 1080 and 720 with really robust frame rates. You go up to 60 frames per second there. The live view panel offers the ability to autofocus. So this is really useful. You've got autofocus capabilities. It could even do facial recognition. That's gonna help if you're shooting moving subjects and you're not as comfortable pulling focus. Large LCD panel on the back. No matter what type of shooting you're doing, this really comes in handy. When shooting video as well, you have the option of switching between DX and FX capabilities. Remember, this camera can use the higher quality FX lenses for the full frame sensor, but it is intelligent and can also handle DX lenses. So that means you could upgrade your lenses or build up your library of lenses as you want to, but continue to use some of the glass you've already invested in. You can easily attach on the bottom an extra battery grip or an L bracket to make this camera feel a little bit bigger in your hands if you want that or give you extended battery life. I encourage you to head on over to Adorama.com and check it out. Here you'll find the ability to get a great price. You can read other people's reviews, see what they think about the camera. And of course, head over to the Learning Center where you'll find reviews and articles to help you get the most out of your photography. And I want to encourage you to not miss a single episode of Adorama TV. Remember, it's absolutely free. You get it on YouTube or iTunes. Both offer the option to subscribe. For Adorama, my name's Rich Harrington. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. Place your order by 8 p.m. and it ships the same day.
Plus, next time you're in New York City, be sure to visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.